Here's the first version rendering I received of the Japanese low table I'm about to build. So the goal here is to design a Japanese low table that is 36 feet in diameter, around 111 feet in circumference, made from sheets of plywood. So we had to find the overlap angle to get the most plywood out of the sheet and make each one like a pizza pie. And Carl Bacchus, my genius friend, did the math. And this is our 18-foot compass arm to get a 36-foot radi uh, 36 diameter with the router. That will be so going in. That's the in. pivot point. There we'll we go. pivot on a bearing we put in the floor there. And then out here, the inside and the outside edges of the first piece of the Japanese low table, we've got a pencil fit in exactly at the right angle, and so we're creating the arc path here, and then I'll be able to cut ever so slightly away from that, and then I'll route down to the finished edge. I'll need to cut these on an angle. Each side will be cut on an angle like a piece of pizza, and then I'll cut these arcs in each piece, and when this goes together, all 36 pieces will form a beautiful table. Japanese low table. So Carl is getting the pencil stuck in there dead center so we can trace our first arc path and then we'll be able to cut that perfectly. Almost it's missing like about what two and a half inches. Matter, we're only, we're only going to oh yeah, that's true. So, uh, so it doesn't even matter at all. So now, like I said, it could have been on the so now we've got our arc paths in there. I'll be making my angle cuts. really close to the edge about a quarter inch away and now I'll route it with the finished router. I sped this portion up quite a bit about twice as fast. It was very difficult to hold that router. My hands are very, very squeezy, very, very firmly. It is very difficult, very dangerous, and I am exhausted. By the time I get to the end, I can barely turn off the router and set it down. So this router is a very long bit, and it's just extremely spinning. You have to grab that router so hard, my hands are so exhausted just after the first 10 seconds, I can barely shut this thing off at the end, but went ahead and did 36 of those. We used the top piece, which is the original one, for the um, template. And here we'll try our very first piece, uh, just attached to the leg system. So we have one leg on each side and it shares the next piece. 
So I glued that and screwed that too for instant installation. Like a chair, so I may test out the Japanese chair style. Yeah. I'll have a little bottle of kombucha. Mr. Brown, how's the video working over there? Thanks for taking the video on the first sitting at the low Japanese table. I must say, it does look pretty damn nice. Are right, you going to leave a water stain? What's up? <laughs> you want to stain on my table? Oh my goodness. <laughs> So I designed those legs so there would be no supports near the bottom, just a little triangle at the top, and uh, pre-drilled and put the screws in there. So every other piece has a leg, and then the top just pops in between them for instant, easy assembly. You can see some of the pieces here are on the ground, and we're spacing them out with a uh, laser and a string from the middle of tape measure, and I'm going around and squeezing them together. And here it is, just going up, just sunset. And the table's going up, and the lights are going in around there, and the speakers for the gala dinner. This will be quite a uh, event. Yeah, the gala table, this Japanese low table, is the main feature for the gala dinner.